In my previous vlog, I spoke about the Sony XZS and XZ Premium. Much to the dismay of my viewers, I mentioned that they are quite similar, but actually they are quite different, with only the cameras being similar. In today's Easter episode, Jesus has risen, Happy Easter! It's yet another tech vlog. <laughs> Hi and welcome to another episode of Is It Sharp? Earlier in the introduction and almost all of the previous episodes of Is It Sharp, they were shot on the iPhone 6 Plus. Not a very good vlogging cam but good for a start. What you're looking at now is being shot on the Panasonic Lumix G85. Now, this is highly rated as a vlogging cam. I can see on the screen that it looks pretty good, nice and sharp. How's the focus? Focusing is good also. Today on Is It Sharp, I'm gonna find out how good of a vlogging cam the Sony G85 is. Now, I'm a Canon guy and I have been so for the past almost 10 years working as a global pictures editor with Reuters News. So my first choice as a vlogging cam was to explore the Canon ATD. The Canon ATD is a better sensor and all, but as a vlogging cam, there's a few issues with it. It's large and cumbersome, which isn't good for vlogging solo. I don't have the arm strength of KC Neistat who instantly I think recently switched to the smaller form factor Sony A7S II. It also doesn't shoot in 4K, which I felt is not future proof. The only thing that worked for me is the selfie screen articulation and the ability for me to use my other Canon lenses. I then looked at Sony cams, much lauded and also used professionally by my current company, a multimedia production house called 1-22. Everything ticked the right boxes except for one extremely glaring issue, a screen articulation that allowed selfie mode. So bye bye Sony, I'm quite a narcissist so I would really like to see myself on screen. Then while going through lots of camera reviews on the net, I noticed that the Panasonic cams are used by quite a lot of YouTubers. Being just a casual vlogger, I didn't want something as expensive as the GH5 or the GH7, so the cheaper G85 fit my budget. Its form factor was good, not too small and not too big either. It had a screen that allowed articulation to selfies. It can take 4K videos and 4K photos. 16 megapixels, not a lot. Um, what they call a 5 point stabilization, which means that it's a very stable camera. What else is this? Splash proof, stack focusing, so many things that are very very useful as you can see here. There's just one small slight problem about this camera and that's the mic attachment gets in the way of the selfie screen if you put the screen out. But it's just very minor, I can still see the screen. I was convinced, I dare say that the Panasonic Lumix G85 is one of the best vlogging cams out there and I give it a sharpness rating of 8 out of 10. Now it could have been 9 out of 10 but lost some points on the micro four third sensor. The micro four third sensor actually makes the lenses have a crop factor of 2 times. This means that my kit lens now which is 1442mm is essentially 2484mm. Anyways I decided that this is the vlogging cam for me. So I called up my friend who works at quite an established camera shop in Singapore called Allen Photo. His contact details here, email him, and also in the description. On top of the camera, I got a Gorilla Pod cause when I grow up, I want to be just like Casey Neistat. And also a Rode mic cause I felt that the sound quality was lacking in my previous vlogs. And sound quality is very important. Sound now is from the Rode mic. I hope I sound sexy and clear. Sexy and clear. I am a happy camper now. And with my new gear, I hope that my vlogs will be decent and watchable. But before I go all 4K on you guys, allow me to do a little throwback episode on some items I tested in Phuket, Thailand last year. Please tune in next week for the throwback vlog and please share and subscribe because unlike other vlogs which have specific things and themes to talk about, my vlog's theme is to talk about anything and everything. So you never know what's gonna come up next. Thank you for watching.